Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Oslander's Break Sun. This is going to be on YouTube as break number 627. This is our third picker team case break of 2017. Panini Contenders Football Spell Box Case Break. Everything ships at vet base. The non-numbered inserts will be sandwiched in between your pink sleeve and top-loaded numbered cards and autographs. If we have any round numbers, uh, well, we will have round numbers. The ones that are non-numbered will be split between the two teams. If there's an odd amount, say there's three, one will go to each team, and the odd one will go to the team after the sort, who has the least amount of stuff shipping. Any of those that are numbered, as we come to them, we'll take the old school Panther stuff here, and a die. One, two, three, left side. Four, five, six, right side. If we have any dual autographs, they will be randomized the old school way at the end of the break. Random.org is messed messed up for me right now for some reason so we use the dice roll there and then randomized list for that also for any points we'll do the same way with the randomized list let say we have a 400 a 250 and a 150 the 400 goes to the first spot after the random 250 to second 150 to the third uh if y'all need any kind of supplies let me know i uh, will be sending out magnetics with the bigger cards i never ship cards and magnetics but they come along with the bigger cards for free and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do shipping here over the next couple of days. I know the post office is closed on Sunday, of course, tomorrow, and New Year's Day, Monday. I'm going to go ahead and get them ready so they can go out first thing so y'all can go ahead for the guys that want to eBay anything get get them up first for anybody else. Case number four is already in the store for Monday filling. Grab your teams. We're down to 27 already. Let's go ahead and go into screen share mode and go over teams and participants. Appreciate everybody's patience and jumping in this one. Did a couple of cases last night. They were really nice. First up with the 49ers is Brother Corey of Bogey 79, DPZ 912. David, welcome back with the Bears. Bowling Bob, Bob of the Bowling Variety with the Bengals. Good luck, buddy. K Nelly83, my boy Kevin with the Bills. Good luck, my friend. Wooly1. I think I left out an L in your name last night, John. I got you fixed up here. Thanks for jumping in again, buddy. You've got the Broncos and the Browns. DPZ912, David also with the Bucks. Rocket Fan86, Professor Dr. Rocket with the Cardinals. John also has the Chargers. Missing Chrome. Brian, good luck, buddy. You've got the Chiefs again in this one. David's got the Colts. Laser9431, my boy Charles with his PC Cowboys. Good luck, Charles. Gimby Gill, brand new to the room. Mr. Jeff, thanks for jumping in, Jeff. I appreciate you, man. You have the Dolphins. K Nelly83, Kevin with his PC Eagles. No Shelter, Jesse with the Falcons. Good luck, Jesse. Jeff also has the Giants. Panic Glass, long time no see, Casey. Thanks for jumping in. Looking for some Fournette with the Jaguars. Vigio57, Matt with the Jets. Siriana, Miss Vicky with the, her PC Lions. Charles also has the Packers. Tron 1, Sean with my PC Panthers. Good luck, buddy. Uh, Wooly 1. I did leave out the elder, didn't I? With the, pant with the uh, Patriots. David also has the Raiders. Celtic fan 33. Eddie, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Eddie, you've got the Rams. Jeff also has the Ravens. Kane's fan Bobby Boy with his PC Redskins. M49 Shift Mark with the Saints. Spike Owen Kelly with his PC Seahawks. Noah Spence, Buck, yeah. Shane, thanks for hanging out, jumping in, grabbing them Stillers. JG1086, making a triumphant island and a break sun return. Appreciate you jumping in, my friend. You have the Texans this round. John also has the Titans, and Eddie also has the Vikings. Let's rip into this thing. I see some orders already coming in through the store. For the next round for Monday. Appreciate that, y'all. Give an update there. The Cowboys are gone, so we're down to 26 now for Monday's case. Let's commence ripping the boys. Stumbling in. This is a little bit of a long break. I will do an autograph recap at the end if we have anything. Really good non-auto as well. If you can't stick around for the whole break, of course, I will have a YouTube video up. Subscribe to the YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, join the Facebook group, all that good stuff. 
Yeah, I never ship anything. I saw the question there about the mag. I know Panini ships redemptions in mag. I've never understood that. Uh, cards aren't really that secure in mag. They can move around a little bit and get damaged, especially on the edges. That's why I never ship anything in a magnetic. I display a lot of cards around the house here in magnetics. But that's why I always say I never ship in magnetics. Anything that's worthy of one, I consider. Send the magnetics along. Everything I ship is always in top letters. That's why I say that. I was going to ask y'all about the microphone. I believe I'm going to have to get a new camera. This is the, the second one of these exact same cameras I've used. It's on the camera. What it is, I believe, is this wire that I'm actually moving right now. So if that's making a difference. The question is, though, was it not doing it before we started recording? Is it just doing it because I'm moving around? I listened back because uh, somebody said something about actually two or three of y'all said something last night. So I watched the videos back and heard exactly what y'all are talking about. The microphone is directly below me on the camera. I believe that this wire has been moved around enough where we need to replace it. I'm probably going to go and get a new camera tomorrow. If it's just fading out, that's what I couldn't tell. If it's just fading out when I'm moving around, it's because I'm not directly above the microphone. But it still seems like it's doing it more than it should, even if that's the case. And I see nothing's changed though, man. We've been we've been running breaks for almost five years and we've been using these same type cameras. Four of those. I think it's just that this it's been moved around so much, it's time for a new camera. Unless it's just me moving. There's a lot of um, hustling and bustling here with the contenders and moving my head around. The only reason why I don't do an external microphone is like what David just said with the uh, ambiance noise here. The background noise would be too loud for y'all if I had one that was like a professional mic here. TV in the living room, air purifier over here, heater, air conditioner in the summer, picks up too much of that stuff. Well, we just use the one on the camera. But it's weird if nobody said anything about it until we start at the break. Were you not hearing it before we started recording? I know uh, I double checked all the settings on casting program. We started up today, everything's good. I'm leaning toward it, may just be because I'm in a ripping frenzy and moving around a lot. I'll pick up a new camera, should solve it. Sorry if that's annoying for y'all. I noticed at the beginning of one of the videos last night. It wouldn't do us any good to switch to the other one because I know it was having a sound problem when we switched it out. <laughs> Exploring the space. I'll make sure we have it fixed by Monday. I'll run the Office Depot. Here's a brand new one. No B. So instead of naming every player on these quads every time, we've seen them so many times now, I'm just going to say quads, Patriots. 
Try to save us a little time here. Mike Vick, legendary contender. First up is a nice one. Draft class, Marlon Max, seven of only 17. Our letters break, son. Those Colts were just taken by David. DPZ. Seven of 17 on card Marlon Mack draft class. Very nice, very nice. So shiny, so, so shiny. You're welcome, David. Thanks for jumping in, buddy. Yeah, y'all first said something about the sound thing. I think the day we lined contender, so it must have been something that happened the last couple of days. It finally gave up the ghost. Rookie of the Year contender, C Mac. Rookie of the Year contender numbered 89 of 99. Mr. Deshaun Watson. Makes up for the no Giants. My buddy Brian had the Giants last night and they were tough. Can't remember about the first case. We're due for some Giants. Round numbers, Hunt and Foreman. Legendary contender Megatron. Next up, wow, Matt Collins. It was a little rough on the edge there on the back. No, Kevin don't care because this one will go into the PC. Playoff ticket, 8 of 99 on card Matt Collins for K Nelly 83 and his Eagles. Well, that's a pretty good start to own cards. Somebody was asking me about it being one on card per box. I'm like, well, that's not necessarily true. I know I counted the first case. We had like 18 or 19 on card in the first case. There are some boxes that I can have you on. Rookie of the Year contender, Dalvin Cook. Carson Wentz, MVP contender. Definitely are a lot more inserts this year. MVP was Sean McCoy. In turn, less base. We have a Buck Allen championship ticket, 76 of 99. For those Ravens. Round numbers, Adam Shaheen and Gerald Everett. Rookie of the Year contender, CJ Beathard. And our Joshua Dobbs. We were just talking about him earlier, debating on whether or not he was a redemption. Well, there's a live version. Rookie ticket. Pretty nice right there. That could be the future quarterback for them. Yep, that's exactly what we were talking about, Shane. There you go, buddy. Nice penmanship. Man, three on card. Hope this case keeps up this way. Round numbers, Kenny Galladay and Cooper Cup. Legendary contender, Emmett Smith. Patrick Mahomes, Rookie of the Year contender. And Sam Rogers, layoff ticket. 27 of 99 for the Rams. Sam Rogers. Not familiar with Mr. Sam Rogers. That is number four, so we should have at least one more here. Sean, you silly dude. 
MVP contender Antonio Brown. Big Ben MVP contender. Round numbers Cook and Mixon. And wow, Malik Cooker too. What a Colts box. There you go, David. Malik Cooker to go along with the back there. I like old John Fox. Thought he would really turn the Bears organization around some. My favorite coach ever for the Panthers. Kamara, rookie of the year contender. And Tom Brady, MVP contender. So we did indeed have our five autographs, three of which were on card in that box. <sighs> Later, Kevin. Dion. Josh, have you have you done any arrowhead hunting since the last time we spoke? My nephew's found a few. I haven't been back out with them. Kind of looking forward to the spring when they kill the fields again. Bug me, I can't figure out what's going on with the mic. I'm pretty sure it's just where the camera's been moved around so much, probably just in the wiring. I kind of figured that. I know how that story goes. I told you how much me and him used to go together before he bought a house, got married, and had two kids. He's on lockdown these, these days. <laughs> That's typical. So I guess the question is, um, how long before you think about getting a playmate? Maybe brother or sister? Sounds to be right in the uh, course of action there. Number two here. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Too close to the tornado to make a call. And right out the gate here for the Cowboys. Taco Charlton. Rookie ticket variation. A crazy look on his face. Laser, I believe, had them. Yep, Laser 9431 Charles. They sure are cute, but it's nice to visit and hand them back over. <laughs> Get some peace and quiet. Legendary contenders, Adam Page. Alan Page, excuse me. Think about wrestling. Joe Mixon, rookie of the year. Contender. MVP contender, Jordan Howard. And Jordan Lego Leggett. Rookie ticket variation for the Jets. We've steadily seen Jets in every case. I think that's the, at least the third or fourth time we've seen that the same particular card there. Lots of these cheap teams will be hitting pretty well. Philip Rivers, MVP contender. Round numbers, Webb and Beathard.
King Quads Raiders. Desmond King for the Chargers, rookie ticket. Not familiar with Mr. Desmond King. So I took some Excedrin migraine earlier with caffeine in it. I'm not supposed to have caffeine. So that's why I'm a little shaky there. <laughs> Can be all jazzed up. MVP contender Odell Beckham. Ricky the Year contender Marlon Mack. Round numbers Samuel and Jones. Ricky the Year contender Kareem Hunt. Playoff ticket 86 of 249 for the Chargers. Mr. Melvin Gordon. Sidney Jones and Kevin King round numbers. Legendary contender Steve Young. If anybody wants those kid reporters, let me know. I've got a bunch of them now. Nobody's been taking them this year. Only got a couple more weeks. Be time to do that. Samaj P. Ryan, rookie of the year contender. And Tanner Vallejo. Not be pronouncing that right for the Bills on his 81 of 99 playoff ticket. There's another one for Kevin KNL 83. Bills been doing some work in contenders. Lots of these teams still available in Monday's case. I will have plenty more contenders coming. As soon as one feels like clockwork, we'll line the next one live in the chat. Kirk Cousins, plan on being on all next week. Ellie Mae Manning, MVP contenders. Things work out how they're planned to be. I'll probably take Friday as a shipping day. We'll be on Monday through Thursday. Kenny Galladay, good year contender. So if you're looking for contenders, come join us. Very nice. We had one of these in last night's second case. Rookie ticket variation. Juju Smith Schulster. Sorry, so we have a little something on the card there, but it actually looks like where you put the pin down. Separate spot there above the first J. Mr. Shane, Noah Spence Buck, yeah. That is the fifth autograph in box number two here. Pretty damn nice first couple of boxes. Panther Squad. Legendary contender Jim Otto. Feel like I should apologize again, y'all, for any sound issues. I didn't really know it was uh, a problem until last night. I will make sure we don't get us a brand new camera, so we'll have that fixed by Monday for our next break. I know it's annoying to listen back to the beginning of that one video and heard what y'all are talking about. So we got Dobbs and we got Juju for you. I don't need a TJ Watt and a James Conner to complete the rookie set.
I don't know if they'll ever do it with contenders, but it would be nice to make this like a six pack thing. Autograph guaranteed in every pack or something. Instead of ruining the price point on the pack right down for hobby shops there. This is a pretty fun, fun rip if you're just buying by the pack. Team Quad Raiders. Odell MVP contender. Matt Breida. I know that's probably one of the ones that Corey is looking for, I believe. Rookie ticket. The Jumbo. Yeah. I think it's just the tradition of it, I think. I'm just guessing. <laughs> There you go, Corey. Woo woo. One of those sneaky selling guys. Rookie of the Year contender, Marlon Mack. Round number, Samuel and Jones. Legendary contender, Alan Page. And another Mack Collins. This one is the rookie ticket variation. Oh, you don't know how he sells, but he looked great. He's playing time. Hey. Nope. I got a redemption. I felt it when I picked up the stack. Rookie of the Year contender, Joe Mixon. MVP contender, Jordan Howard. MVP contender, Phil Rivers. I gotta admit, even though it is a long, you know, break, kind of enjoy it. You get so many packs, kind of need to rip it all. Excuse me. Uh, rookie ticket, Ryan Switzer. Another one for Charles and the Cowboys, eh? That's number three. We know we got the redemption. We should have one more other than that one. <clears throat> Round number is Webb and Bethard. Legendary contender Mike Vick. <clears throat> See, Matt. Rookie of contender. And here's our redemption. Rookie ticket, Adoree Jackson. That is Titans. Rookie ticket for the Titans. Still hunting for one more here. Hunt and Foreman. Legendary contender, Megatron. Uh, Dalvin Cook, rookie of the year contender. And Vince Beagle. That's how you say that. Beagle. Rookie ticket for the Packers. I know the Packers have the one guy who sells well. That's not the one. I don't know if we've seen that one yet. I don't think we pulled him. It does look like Beagle. Bigel? It does look like Beagle. <laughs> hey, I love Beagles. That'll work. And one more other kid. MVP contender Carson Wentz. Sean McCoy MVP contender. Shaheen and Everett. And we got one with six. This card is damaged. Wow, that is weird. That must have been something in the production there. It's like they got stamped too hard. Never seen one like that. Jamal Agnew, rookie ticket. At least it's not a huge name or anything. It's a little smeared on the ink. Check out the back of this thing. Like it just got too hard of a stamp. Uh, 
Nope, at least, like I said, it's not a big name, and it is kind of a bonus autograph. Even the rookie card logo is messed up. That's Miss Vicky. I'm glad it went in the Galloway for just like that. You have a couple more base there, but there's the six autos. And last insert here is Rookie of the Year contender Wayne Gallman. For the stack top observer, set it to the side here. Get in the box. Well, that box wasn't quite as exciting as the first two there. Everybody got planned for New Year's tomorrow night. I know that we'll just be chilling around the house. If I can shake off or don't miraculously don't have a real bad headache, I'll probably do a little bit of drinking. But that's in a lot of y'all's plan. So a couple of people last night were talking about going out to different parties and such. Corey, I figured you and Lynn would probably have some party to go to. I believe you may have said that actually already. Oh, plans changed. Shoot, I'd rather stay at home personally. Oh no, that's not good. I heard that cold dog. If you are out there, sure don't drink and drive, have a designated driver if you're gonna go out drinking, catch an Uber or a taxi or something. A lot of a lot of accidents gonna happen. For me, it's all the more reason to stick it, stick around the house. Oh wow! That's a pretty, not a real bad seat. My brother just had that done, Corey. Like, was it last year, year before? And he's in his fifties. Just out of nowhere. How it normally goes for that. I think he's the only one in, in my immediate family that have had an issue with it. Zay Jones, Rookie of the Year contender. Team Quads for the Bucks. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, MVP contender. At 11. Josh Malone, uh, he's been getting some playing time, caught a few touchdowns. Playoff ticket variation, 36 of 49 for the Bengals. Mr. Josh Malone. Yep, I can't think of anybody else. Seems like maybe my mom years ago may have had hers out. Rookie of the Year contender, Curtis Samuel. Legendary contender, Chris Dolman. Rookie of the Year contender, Evan Ingram. And redemption time. Ooh. Rookie ticket, Kareem Hunt. There you go, Brian. Missing Chrome. That's Kareem Hunt out of two out of three cases now. 
That would be the one if I was PCing him that I would want right there is rookie ticket. Legendary contender 28 of 99, Brett Favre for the Packers. I want to see one of these big names crack dice. James Winston, MVP contender. Derek Carr, MVP contender. Switzer and Chesson, round numbers. And another Taco Charlton. That is the variation rookie ticket for Charles and the Cowboys. This is the third auto in the box. So at least two more coming here. Now we're seeing quite a few with six now. Matt Ryan, or excuse me, Falcons quad. Earl Campbell, legendary contender. And Jordan Willis for the Bengals. Owen Bob picked up those Bengals again. Rookie ticket there, Mr. Jordan Willis. Bob's probably watching. On YouTube, I will guess. Yeah, the Taco Charlton and the Jordan Leggett for the Jets. Rookie ticket variations are definitely not short prints. Seen those two a bunch. Let me re up here on some penny sleeves and top layers. Nice. Congrats. We had a Watson rookie ticket variation last night. It's the only Watson we've seen so far. That was in case two. Seen a couple of Christian McCaffrey's. Rookie ticket, Beatrix Wise Jr. for the Patriots. That is autograph number five. I've seen a I believe it was the Rookie of the Year contender, Deshaun Watson, number to five, so I pulled Fournette McCaffrey on one of the many Facebook groups I'm on. Somebody posted it yesterday. Drew Pearson, legendary contender. And championship ticket, 75 of 99, Antonio Brown for the Steelers. So shiny. Rookie of the Year contender, Juju Smith Schulster. Dak Prescott, MVP contender. Mike Evans, MVP contender. Taylor and McKenzie, round numbers. Rookie of the Year contender, David Njoku. And there's our five autographs from that one. Get on in the box five. So we had two that were fire and two that were yeah. I going for that one wasn't quite as rough as that one though. Oh for sure. Cracked ice is the chase every year. The cracked ice this year for some reason to me look way better than they normally do there. I already will straight say I said it earlier, we were feeling this. I think this year's contenders beats last year. The design is much better. Not that I didn't like last year's or anything, but the cracked ice thing is one of the things that puts it over the top for me. I've seen some bad cases posted. I've heard some gripes and grumbles, but from what we've seen in here, ain't plain. There's always going to be people upset every break. You know, all the big teams, they're, they're expensive, aren't going to hit everyone, but seen some pretty good stuff. Seems like 
from just the two we've opened, like two of the top tier guys at least, and a whole bunch of the others. Second tier or whatever. Somebody told me yesterday they watched seven cases and there was only five cracked ice. We had five in the first two. And two of those were not autographed, but I actually uh, saw a case posted that had seven or eight cracked ice in it. And they weren't all huge names or anything, but you just never know from case to case. We've had them before in past years that had six or seven or eight. I think we had like one or two that had like nine or ten before past year. We broke 25 cases last year. The only reason why we didn't get more is because it went up in price and NT was coming out. We did 33 cases in 2015, or excuse me, 16, and we did 29 cases in 2014. I have no idea how many we did in 2014 because I didn't keep very good records back then. And back then, everybody would show up for the break. There was never anybody that wasn't watching live, so we hardly ever recorded a video. It was hard to tell exactly how many we did in 13. MVP contender Mike Evans. Trent Taylor and McKenzie. A couple of those from last year were personal cases for my buddy Jesse. I never record those either. David Njoku, Rookie of the Year. So, from this case number 627, I have this labeled as just to keep up with it better for YouTube and everything. But this is actually probably like, probably 800 and some. We broke, we broke case wise. Well, there's one we haven't seen yet Aaron Jones. Woo! Jersey number inscribed. Who had them? Laser 9431 Charles. Did not them Cowboys and. From Aaron Jones. Very nice. I think they're headed to the uh, head to Detroit tomorrow. Quad for the Falcons, rookie of the year contender Curtis Samuel. Fournette and McCaffrey. And we have our first points. We're seeing anywhere from two to four of these so far. We had two in the first case, four in the second. That will be random off to everybody in the break at the end. The cool thing I've noticed about Panini stuff this year is normally when they have points, it may not be in the same box, but it will even out where it won't count as an autograph more than likely. We had 61 autos and two points in the first case. I honestly haven't counted the second one, but... As we went, I know we got at least 60 autographs in the second one on top of the four points. So at least they're not, you know, counting as an autograph technically or the entire case run anyway. Some boxes may have five autos still and some may only have four that we notice. Wow, another nice one. Tariq Cohen played college ball right down the street from me at North Carolina A&T. Ten minutes away anyway. Bears, who had them Bears? David, DPZ. This could be a big one in the future. Legendary contender Drew Beers Drew Pearson. Either your contender Juju Smith Schulster. MVP contender Dak Prescott and Ross Cockrell rookie ticket for the Giants. I don't know if you've seen that one yet. I don't know a damn thing about that fella. Can't say either way. Legendary contender 118 of 199. Legendary contender Earl Campbell on that one. For the old school Oilers going to the Titans. Mm -hmm. 
Aaron Rodgers, MVP contender. Yeah, I've seen the Falcons higher in some places, but it's a couple of rookie tickets, but it's mostly that vet possibility for them. Jake Butt and George Kittle. And there's one we haven't seen yet. Oh, excuse me, that was last year's read. Playoff, playoff ticket 24 to 249. I'm tripping. Jalen Ramsey. There's so many vet tickets in this this year. When it turned around like that, it fakes me out. I thought it was going to be a vet ticket of him. I don't even think he has one possible. Though. If y'all look at the checklist, there's how there's normally like one of ones to tens uh, to 25 tops for vets. There's a lot of vets this year that like there's some that have 199 autographs in the product. We pulled one of those last night. Cameron Hayward, Stillers, Mitch Trubisky, rookie of the year contender. They were seeing like three or four rookie, or excuse me, three or four vets per case. Earl Campbell, legendary contender. Cooper Cup, rookie of the year contender. Brad Kaya, this guy was on the practice squad with the Lions. And then he was on the practice squad with the Panthers. And now he's back on the practice squad for the Lions. This card does go to the Panthers, though, because the logo on the card. Definitely not short printed. Cards always go to the logo, even though he is in the Lions uniform. That is autograph number four, plus we got the points. Let's see if they gave us a bonus autograph in this one. Mitch Trubisky and Deshaun Watson round numbers. Mark Gaston Gastineau, legendary contender. First time I think I've ever seen an insert of him in this product. Carlos Henderson, MD, rookie of the year contender. And speaking of Carlos Henderson, seven of 25, second rookie ticket variation craft ice for the Broncos in back to back cases. We had the Chad Kelly last night. This dude does get some playing time, he's not fantastic. But he does play. Broncos were John Woolly won this round. So in this particular box, they did give us the five autos with the points at least. MVP contender Matt Ryan. Cracked dice are. Definitely very nice looking. Not a terrible name there. Let's pull a bigger name on Crack Dice. Carlos Henderson is all over every product this year. Another rookie running back, Jamal Williams for the Packers. I've seen that dude beasting on a few plays. I was watching the Packers play. I think he could actually be somebody in, in the future. Pulling over guys, stiff arm in the front. The boys got some moves. So we on box number six here. This will put us halfway through. Matt Ryan cracked ice. I just saw that. Yep, he has regular autos and cracked ice. Julio's in this. I believe. I think it right. Oh, well, I'm going to say. I went through that checklist so many days ago. There's a lot of vets in this. For sure. I haven't seen one yet. In this case. I feel like somebody was asking me why the, I think that they didn't do the, you know, 70, 72 autographs like usual. 
which in years past, the points would count against it. <clears throat> so if you had four points, you'd have 68 autographs. I think the reason why there's not as many is because it costs them so much more to get those vet tickets signed. Obviously, somebody like that, they're going to charge more for their autograph per card than a seventh round pick. Rookie. That's a total guess, but that would be an educated guess on that. Could be why. Rookie of the Year contender, Bethard. <clears throat> I think with the addition of those bet tickets, don't really miss an extra five autographs when you have, remember past years when we have like three of the same dude twice. So you have like six cards of two different guys. And none of them were like, they were all like $3 cards. Galladay and Cooper Cup, which pretty much happened every case. We've seen some duplicates, but we haven't seen that this year yet. Rookie ticket, Jamal Adams for the Jets. At least the second hit for the Jets there. Seem to consistently hit. Still available in case four for Monday. <laughs> By the way. I don't know. First autograph of box six. Emmett Smith, legendary contender. Ricky the year contender, Patrick Mahomes the third. <clears throat> Antonio Brown, MVP contender. And another Marlon Mack. Nice break for the Colts. Rookie ticket, Marlon Mack. Home card. There's a lot of people chasing him just a few weeks ago. He must have must have had a nice game or something. I missed the stats on him. Not sure where the Colts guys have been lately. Typically don't last very long in the breaks. Big Ben MVP contender. Ten of only twenty-five MVP contender. Aaron Rodgers. Does not want to focus. There we go. Got that blue foil. Variation. Yep, whoever came with the design this year should get a raise. Dalvin Cook and Joe Mixon. Hope they're the same one that come up with next year's. Alvin Kamara, rookie of the year contender. And Chris Carson. This dude right here is like a $20 card, and the Seahawks, I believe, are only $29 in my breaks. Looking today at some of the prices on eBay. Rookie ticket, Chris Carson. Pretty sure that's the fella. As autograph number three, box six. Uh, Patriots quad there. Round numbers Humphrey and Cohen. Legendary contender Randy Moss. He's got autographs in this for the Patriots. I believe there's only 15 of them left. Let's go ahead and see our redemption. Rookie ticket, T.J. Watt for the Steelers. No one for Shane. No one Spence. Buck, yeah. Well, just need one more to complete all the rookie class for the Steelers. They're all over the product. T.J. Watt, rookie of the year contender. MVP contender Matt Stafford. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Marcus Mariota, MVP contender. And OB Melifonwu. Seems like the Raiders that we hit on this product, too. Rookie ticket of OB Melifonwu for the Raiders. Corey Davis and Mike Williams, round numbers. Either your contender, Lynn Fournette. 
King Quads for the Steelers. And Kendall Beckwith. This is going to be another box with six autographs. Is this our second or third with six? We've already got two more hits than 60 trending this way. Well, we're not counting the points there. I think this is our third one with six, but two of them are like bonus autos. Kendall Beckwith. So we did have six. Uh, Tom Brady, MVP contender. Set to the side. Let's see what you're talking about, Dave. Okay. Um, I was just showing some of the stuff we hit out of Optic. I don't know anybody in particular that's collecting this set. It's a really nice set, though. My buddy hit the non-auto Cam Newton the other night. He also hit the uh, Redemption for the Kareem Hunt. One of one true rookie, not the Gridiron King. Super Fractor. But we did five cases, and I broke two personal for a friend of mine, and he hit the Christian McCaffrey Gridiron King one of one. And then one of the group breaks we did, Bogey79, my buddy Corey, um, hit the um, Adrian Peterson Gridiron King autograph for the Saints. But I don't particularly know anybody that's collecting them. Just those guys selling them. Yeah, he, um, that's my buddy Jonathan. He actually opened, it was either three or four cases, I forget, personal. Hit that cream hunt. He had a lot of other nice stuff, but that was the, the best one. I think he hit like three or four one on ones and like half a dozen golds. Optic was really nice this year. What surprised me was the group breaks on it were feeling slow. I mean, honestly, all group broke, group, excuse me, if I talk, group breaks have been feeling slow for a while for football. Yeah, you know, Optic was producing left and right, and it was still slow. That's why a lot of personals were being ripped. That's been one of the better products this year. I think this one right here is right with it. So many people bitching more about Panini, and I totally get it. I do. But the truth of the matter is, when Tops was making football, they did the same thing about Tops. Panini, I don't think, is necessarily a problem other than their points and redemption systems. Um, I feel like their products this year have been fairly solid across the board. There's been some stinkers, like Illusions. There haven't been that many. Past years, you know, you'd have about half the products or so that were pretty decent, half that were just dead. I feel like they've done a good job of putting the stuff together in general. No matter what, there's always going to be somebody to complain about something. <laughs> the point system is complete crap. But I think the product's been pretty solid across the board. I know some people disagree with that. College Immaculate and College National Treasures were really nice this year. But the main reason why those were so good, they made so much less of it this year than last year. Which I think is a big part of why a lot of products have been better. A lot of them have been more more shorter print. What I hear more often than anything is, man, Panini pumps out way too many products. The reality is, do the math on it, standing right now, Panini can put out five more products, NFL license, before they reach the number that Tops and Panini put out together when they both had a license. The reason why it seems like Panini's put out so many more is because they have the college license because they waited about a month and a half later. I remember Bowman football come out really early around Trinity time. And then you waited about a month later before they start releasing football products. So now they're closer together, more on top of each other. So it seems that way. I do think by the end of the year, with the college products, they're probably going to have like a dozen more out than it would have been with Tops of Panini combined. We've still got Flawless, NT, Select, encased, plates and patches. And by the time those are released, they're going to be right there with the NFL stuff. Uh, then you got all the college, too. 
Paulo Henderson, rookie of the year contender. But I do think that they're kind of learning, like from last year, where they made all those breakers by college uh, immaculate or national treasures it didn't sell well for them. They realized they produced way too much, so at least they are learning as they go. Jim Kelly, legendary contenders, made a lot less this year. Those were really fun breaks, especially doing the random serial number. I'm all about pick your team, but on the college stuff, those random serial numbers on uh, college NT and immaculate. Really fun. Did those the last couple of years. Grill Peppers, Rookie of the Year contender. Hey, there's Adam Vinatieri. Colts, have yourself a break. I knew we were due for a vet. Jersey number inscribed. That is pretty cool. Congrats, David. I would guess we're probably at least going to see another vet or two here for its server. Or how about a dual autograph coming up? Just uncovered that. MVP contender Ezekiel Elliott. MVP contender Matt Stafford. 21 of 199 for the Lions. Anyway, should I stipulate this video or these are just Oslander's opinions? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, some of you guys that don't hang out on a regular basis, I'm, I'm opinionated, y'all. I just say what I think. Don't don't go with the flow like a lot of them do. MVP contenders. Drew Brees. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I think. If I get a different opinion. Jabril Peppers and TJ Watt round numbers. Deontay Foreman, rookie ticket variation. On card for the Texans. I think that dude either just presses too hard, which you can tell he's pressed really hard on that card, and wears out the tip of his pen, and or signs really fast and makes his autograph streaky. I believe that dual autograph on top here coming up. Sean Kaiser, Rookie of the Year contender. Cowboys quad. Legendary contender Jason Taylor. And round numbers 11 of 25. Adam Shaheen for the Bears and Gerald Everett for the Rams. The Bears are David, I know. And the Rams. I not remember. I think. Uh, Eddie Grapple. Yep. Celtic fan 33 with the Rams. If you guys come to some kind of conclusion by the end of the break on the card, if someone wants to work out a deal and buy the other one's half or something, let me know. Otherwise, we'll go to random at the end for it. You will have a little bit of time here to talk in IMs or chat room or whatever about it. Set that one there for the random with points. Rookie of the Year contender, Deshaun Watson. And David Njoku, rookie ticket, rookie ticket variation for the Browns. Oh, what up, Shane? Oh, this box so far, Shane, you missed the Vinatieri, Deontay Foreman, David Njoku, rookie ticket variation, and this just happened. 11 of 25, Gerald Everett, Adam Shaheen. Not sure when he stepped away, but that's this last box. MVP contender Aaron Rodgers. I know um, past years I used to do a recap after every box, so I've kind of been skipping over that this year. Jake Butt and George Kittle. Rookie of the Year contender Mitch Trubisky. And Josh Harvey Clemens, we haven't seen this guy yet. Playoff ticket, 19 of 99 for the Redskins. I hear you. 
Oh, did he miss the TJ Watt? Here we, I don't think anybody's in a huge rush. I'll recap the box before it too. I think you saw the Carlos Henderson cracked ice. There wasn't much else in that box except, well, Tariq Cohen and Aaron Jones, if you missed those. And then, yeah, you had the TJ Watt rookie ticket. Not much else to speak of there other than the Marlon Mack. I know it's hard for, for guys to step to a, a long break like this. I just, you know, try to make it a little quicker. Why not doing that box per box recap since we do one at the end? There's a quad there for the Jags and Cam Newton MVP contender. Rookie of the Year contender, Jamal Adams. And a, now I was just talking about duplicates. This, I think it's their third Carl Lawson, or maybe it's just the second in this case. Carl Lawson, rookie ticket for the Bengals. It's been, this has been solid. We need like two big boy names to cap it off. We still got almost a half case to go though. We got plenty more. We had a lot of those second tier guys. More than the first two cases, I think. Round numbers, Brian Hill and EJ Logan. And MVP contender Matt Ryan. So we actually had six autographs in that box. We had the duel in that one too. We hit any two of McCaffrey, Fournette, Cook, Trubisky, Watson, Kamara. Well, we already hit Hunt. I forgot about Hunt. Basically, we hit one of those guys. It was already about tied with the first case. We hit two of those guys, and this is probably about like the second case. That's pretty much where we're at. We're solid. A couple of big boys put us over the top. I'd already forgotten about the Hunt we hit. I believe when this product was put together, he wasn't even considered one of the very top guys. Even though he is on the box, they changed they changed the design of the box. I don't know if you guys realize that. The original box design had Corey Davis on it instead of Kareem Hunt. By the time they put it into production, they changed the, the Corey Davis picture to Kareem Hunt. All right, box number eight. Let's get it. What you got in that box? Team quads for the Bucks. Our first numbered rookie round numbers. That's Ryan Switzer and Jihu Chesson, 11 of 199. I'll be a dice roll right quick. One, two, three will be Charles. And the Cowboys, four, five, six, will be Brian and the Chiefs. Take it back to that first Panthers game, old school logo. And that is going to the Cowboy. Are you there? MVP contender, Le'Veon Bell. MVP contender Jameis Winston, Ricky the Year contender C Mac, and 
and Malachi Dupree. Now that one is going to the Bills, even though he is in a package uniform. Always goes to the logo on the card. We had one of him last night, an insert number 15. See Bills logo there on the back as well. On K. Nelly, Kevin and the Bills. And there you go. Falcons not hitless. Duke Riley, rookie ticket. For no shelter, Jesse and the Falcons. That cheapy boom. MVP contender Derek Carr, Switzer and Chesson round numbers, rookie year contender Zay Jones of East Carolina, Razul Douglas for the Eagles. I saw somebody earlier. Now Matt Collins, it's a nice Eagle. This guy I don't know anything about, but the Eagles and the 49ers do have a ton of hits in the product, but yeah. Of course, it's based off the quality of hits, not just the number. Probably haven't seen more 49ers. That is one of the weaker Eagles hits there. And I just uncovered a hit for another cheapy team coming up. Round numbers, Fournette McCaffrey. Legendary contender Drew Pearson. Looks like we have a base playoff ticket or championship ticket coming up. Trent Taylor and Isaiah McKenzie. And championship ticket 18 of 99, Terrell Suggs. Another TV team, the Ravens. Does Rizzo Douglas play a lot? I didn't know that. He's a Mountaineer, huh? I didn't know he played. Maybe I'm wrong then. Not familiar with old Rizzle. My buddy Kevin there. <coughs> Excuse me. My buddy Kevin, KNL83. A huge Eagles fan. He wears me out in conversation with any Eagles that are any good. So I figured I would have heard of him from him. <laughs> if he was any good. David and Joku. That's basically what I'm going off on that one. Falcons quad. I've heard so much about Matt Collins and Corey Clement. Earl Campbell, legendary contender. I think the only time I actually watched the Eagles play this year is when we played them. Championship ticket, 22 of only 25. Nice hit for a Chibi team. Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick does so decent, too. Cardinals are, Cardinals are Joel, Rocket Fan 86. Not a bad one there. Should have one more autograph here. At least. Super Cup. Be the year contender. Round numbers Trubisky and Watson. <clears throat> Be the year contender Juju. And there he is. I've been wondering where this guy's been hiding at. 47 of 99. There you go, Eddie. Island is break, son. On card, Cooper Cup. A couple of people disappointed because they didn't pop in the first two. The Rams have a pretty healthy checklist. All those college records that guy has. Pretty much him and Randy Moss. Some of them. Dak Prescott, MVP contender. And Mike Evans, MVP contender. So we did have five autographs there. 
Pity. I'm definitely gonna hit Brian up and thank him for giving me a shout out some of his ways. Such a cutthroat thing with the breaking thing these days. It's hard to know if you've got a good friend. And especially hard to, to trust one or get a shout out. I've got a handful. Still will recommend, but be careful these days. So many people upstart trying to start breaking and stuff. <clears throat> Definitely appreciate you guys joining us. Surely feel a lot quicker with you here. Oh yeah, Cooper, Cooper Cup's a baller. I don't know the specifics, but I know there's a lot of records that he set in college. The only other person that's been on the same level ever was Moss. Excuse me. I can't quote the exact records or anything, but pretty impressive. I had him on my fantasy league this year, and which also had Gurley. Even though Antonio Brown was was out for me that championship week, still Gurley helped pick up the slack there and pulled out the championship win. Cooper Cup was part of that too. Yep, we've had like three, if not four, I think three boxes that had six autos, which seems to be pretty standard every case. There's over 60 autographs in every case, I want to say. First one, I know we had 61 and two points. Haven't counted two yet. But I'm curious to count and see. We did have four points cards and two, and I can tell you that we still had at least 60 autos, not 61 or two, besides the points. So going by that, we had at least four boxes in case two that had six, you know, if you're including the points. Had to make up for them too. Let's see, number nine here. Let's get it. I bet. We hell, Josh. Uh, I mean, Jesse. You know, Clowning beats Boyd. That's what I keep talking about. My buddy Jonathan. He's a Rams fan. It's kind of hard to figure out why, but being on being from South Carolina and living in Virginia now, but somehow, some way, <laughs> MVP, MVP contender. Drew Brees. Every six months or so, he explains to me why he's a Rams fan, but I always forget. <laughs> That's why it's all peppers and what. But same way, I got one of those buddies too. MVP contender Matt Stafford. Marcus Mariota, MVP contender. Anthony Walker Jr. Ricky Ticket. That's the two teams I hear the most about, other than my Panthers, the Rams and the Eagles. Those two of my best buddies, PC teams. First year you've seen them happy. Their defense has been beast for years. It's just I think Jeff Fisher was their biggest downfall getting rid of him is what put him over the top thing. Of course, you know, golf coming coming into himself, but round numbers, Davis and Mike Williams. Fisher was just plain dirty coach, man. The Rams have done some dirty stuff in the past. Kind of got a rivalry somewhat with them, with the Panthers. If you ever seen some of those games in the past, you know what I'm talking about? Going back years and years. Rookie ticket, Bernard Reedy. The Bucks. <clears throat> yep, Bradford for MVP, man. Yep. There's always people every time we um every time we have a team that shows out like the Colts are. Like they'll want to cancel the team they may have already called and take the Colts or whatever. But we haven't seen the Colts show out like this. And we've had some nice Colts in both the other cases, but one or two. 
you know, Marlon Mack or um, and not like this. Elijah Qualls for the Eagles, rookie ticket. Now everybody's trying to get the Eagles are the 49ers. That's the two most wanted teams, seems like. Because of, they know from the checklist that they had the most hits. Rookie of the Year contender Sean Kaiser. Doesn't necessarily mean they're going to come out. There's definitely been no lack of Eagles. That was a Cowboys quad there. Justin Taylor, legend, or excuse me, Jason Taylor, legendary contender. Nazir Jones, rookie ticket for the Seahawks. I agree with the Jeff Fisher, such a turd comment for sure, Josh. Quarterback killer. There was some stuff in a game. It was, I don't know, it was probably like 2010 or 11. I think it's probably 11. I think it was Cam's rookie year. Rookie of the Year contender Deshaun Watson. We played him. There was a big brawl. I think there was actually two that game. There's two or three different games we had issues. And it came out that Fisher was putting out hits on guys. Donald Pumphrey and Tariq Cohen, he actually had this whole like board drawn up for different money that you would get as bonuses for taking guys out and certain guys. Randy Moss, legendary contender. Uh, Smitty, and I can't think of the dude's name, but cornerback. Steve Smith and him got into it big time. Taewon Taylor, rookie playoff ticket variation. That's the one where that's the dude with dreads. Told me if you saw him on the street, he's gonna straight whoop his ass. I'm talking about raping Smitty's wife and all this shit. <laughs> People crazy. Smitty's a little hot hit anyway. Not be one that's saying that kind of stuff too. He definitely will back up what he says. T.J. Watt, Rookie of the Year contender. I think Fisher was behind a whole lot of their woes there. Leonard Fournette, Rookie of the Year contender. Stiller's quad. Playoff ticket, nine of only 25, D.D. Westbrook. That's not the Jags want to see, but Jags on the board at least. It's got like a light production line there across it. I don't know if I can get that to show up on camera. You see it there. So you know it came out of the pack that way. That is painted glass, Casey. Long time no see, buddy. I know you're not in the chat. Maybe you're watching on YouTube or undercover. Still got that present you made for me one year. Putting it to use. Appreciate you jumping in the break, man. That's the sixth. Autograph. MVP contender Tom Brady. So this is this is either the fourth or the fifth box with six autos. I'm not 100% sure. CJ Beathard, Rookie of the Year contender. Galladay and Cup. Ooh, 141 of 249, Tom Brady playoff ticket. I have the Patriots cheaper than I've seen anybody have them. That probably paid for the spot right there. He's just saying he did have a rookie ticket earlier too. Thomas Brady. Legendary contender Emmett Smith. And there's our six autos. I had somebody text me here and ask a question on the team right quick. Let me shuffle through these. Give him an answer. I can't remember if they hit or not. I don't believe so. Not. 
OD. Pretty quick. Have you guys talked about this duel? Y'all want to send it to Randy? Y'all would rather me roll a die, one, two, three, or four, five, six? I'll do it however y'all want to. Kind of jacked up that Randy's not working for me. I got to write that email back. Did a bunch of updates to the computer. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but mm, that's the third since then. A week ago, a week and a half ago, something like that. So far, we've only got 150 points. We did see two in the first case and four in the second, so definitely would expect some more here. You want to know something that's crazy? I was going to say those points right there. Never mind, it's not. As soon as I said that, I thought the packet open had points in it. It's an insert. Never mind. <laughs> Wild, as, so often as I'll say something or somebody in the chat will say something, and that's like the next hit we see. Happens a ton. There you go. Jesse said he might be interested. No rush or anything, guys. I just, you know, something to talk about while I'm ripping the next box. I'm not trying to rush or anything. I know both of you guys are. I want to say you're kind of new to the room, but Celtics been in my breaks before. I just you know, it's been a while. Can't say enough how much I appreciate y'all jumping in the break. Like I said things have been slower lately. I am not gonna let the dream die. I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Um, unfortunately, I've had a lot of health issues try to drag me down, <clears throat> but. Things must go on. We don't get it no matter what. We'll be here busting. Pick your team football case breaks. Feel free to tell some friends if you know anybody else interested in breaking. Got a really laid back crew here. Hopefully it's kind of a different kind of room than you're not used to where it's not so much nonsense in the chat and pretty chill dudes. Rookie ticket, Nazir Jones. I've already seen that one one time. That's at least our second duplicate case for the Seahawks. <clears throat> we still got a couple of boxes before we get there. MVP contender 69 of 199 Mike Evans for the Bucks. I always encourage you guys, you know, get to know each other in your PC. That's one of the coolest things about our little crew. Some people have been MIA for a while, but I always seem to come back at some point here and there Not on a regular basis. But uh, all of us pretty much hang out on a regular basis, uh, know each other by first name and know each other's PC. So if we you know, hit a card and think somebody might be interested, hit each other up. Most of these guys are members of the Facebook group and friends on Facebook and stuff like that. Ricky the Year Contender, Carlos Henderson. Definitely want to and enjoy the hobby. It's not just about the breaks. It's about having fun. So feel free to share your eBay if you're modded up. Watch you've been hitting all that good stuff. MVP contender Matt Ryan. I'm glad that uh, Shane said something about that TJ Watt. Those blacks out of Optic are my favorite. Pick that up from him tonight. Uh, MVP contender Aaron Rodgers there. Wow, another one for the Colts. Quincy Wilson. We saw him last case. Ricky Ticket. That buddy of mine is a Rams fan. Is collecting uh, Gerald Everett too. Must be pretty decent.
Yeah, Quincy's got a nice penmanship. We were seeing him in some other product earlier in the year, but I can't remember what it was. Jake Butt and George Kittle, round numbers. Rookie of the Year contender, Mr. Cup. Oop. Trubisky and Deshaun Watson, round numbers. And, and, there he is. Rookie ticket variation, Leonard Fournette. That was a nice addition there to go along with the hunt we pulled earlier. Welcome back to Oslander's Break, son. To uh, Casey, Mr. Panic Glass. It's been a minute. I think it's been a couple years since you've been in a break with me. Got a nice hit. Headed to Wisconsin, I believe it is. Eddie says he knew it. He knew it was coming. Didn't even do the old Oslander's breaks Ooh. on that one. Mark Gastineau. Carlos Henderson. MVP contender Matt Ryan. I was expecting one of those guys to surface here. Legendary contender Jim Kelly. Rookie of the Year contender Jabril Peppers. MVP contender Zeke. Drew Brees MVP contender. And Jot, we haven't seen this guy now twice in the same case. This is a different version though. Rookie ticket, Josh Harvey Clemens. What a crappy autograph. It looks like THC. Looks like he, uh, I don't know if that's from maybe the sticker below it or you put those little dots on there underneath. Kind of weird there. <clears throat> yeah, apparently Miles Garrett did not sign an autograph contract with Panini. I'm always willing to ship base if people want it. It's just so crazy to ship it all. Since I literally, you know, get about a penny for every six base. Rookie ticket, Donald Pumphrey. I used to donate him and the dude that I used to donate him to. Got so many he can't, can't handle it, didn't have the time to give them away anymore. Donald Pumphrey, rookie ticket for the Eagles. I used to, have, I'm sure if I scroll back far enough on the Facebook group, it's on there still. Um, the guy was a high school student. Used to make little packs and give them to uh, Duke's Children's Hospital kids and boys and girls clubs he used to go to. Trubisky, rookie of the year contender. They went off to, uh, he has to go to Carolina, UNC Chapelville now, and he said he just didn't have the time for it. Learn for that team quads. I filled up a good chunk of his mom's garage. I was getting them to him faster than he could get rid of them, so put a nix on that. 249 of 249 playoff ticket. Marvin Jones Jr. But yeah, if anybody wants to see base, make sure and let me know here before the end of the break. It's only have to get through it one time, please. And if somebody did take the Tom Brady's in the last case for their kid, I don't mind pulling it out for you. I just think it's a waste of funds to ship it all. Cam Newton MVP contender. Got a couple of guys that always get like one of each base for their PC stuff. PC stuff. Jamal Adams, Rookie of the Year contender. Also, if anybody wants those kid reporters, let me know. Brian Hill, TJ Logan, round numbers. And we did have five autographs in that one, two boxes to go. I'm going to do an autograph count on this one before we do the recap. See how many we actually have. You know what? I hadn't, I'm gonna be honest, I hadn't noticed if Miles Garrett, Miles Garrett has base. Matter of fact, I think 
Yeah, I don't think there's no moms here at base, buddy. Every, all the base are vets. I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, every bit of the base is vets. If if there was any rookies, all the rookies would ship. And any product I do, it's just that base that doesn't ship. Unless it's a high-end product on thick card stock or something, and it all ship. An empty pack wrapper? Yeah, it's a little extreme. Oh, we were talking about base the other night. What's up, Jesse? One on radar. Jesse, I got so much base in my other room from all different sets. I have to have time to go through it for you. I'll see what I can do. All right, all. We still got a couple of boxes left in this one, buddy. Um, you didn't have a team in this one. I do have case four in the store for Monday. I've got a killer headache going on but powering through it here I was determined to break one a day I was actually hoping we could get two in the night I kind of gave up on that idea at this point but there's what's left for uh, Monday I think it's actually down to 26 not 27 now but filling that one over the next couple of days I'm gonna go ahead and package this stuff up even though the post office is closed Monday I'm going to go ahead and get it to them and they'll go out first thing when they get back to work. Yeah, I'll get these first three cases. And I'll do shipping again. Probably going out next Saturday for the cases next week. Keep them rolling, son. You guys have a safe New Year. I don't want to hear any bad news on the first or sometime next week. Be smart. Don't do anything dumb. Box number 11. Let's get it. Round numbers, Real Peppers and TJ Watt. Sean Kaiser, Rookie of the Year contender. Jim Kelly, Legendary contender. 89 of 99. I should have asked you yesterday, Jesse, what time you got off. I know you're going in at one, though. I jumped on a little bit early. I think it was about 5.30. Mitch Trubisky, Rookie of the Year contender in my time. We've seen more cracked ice in the first two than we have this one. Quad for the Jags. We've only seen one cracked ice. Oh, Lord. 97 of 99 NFL Inc. For Sean and them Panthers. They've been getting some hatred this year. Still been pulling out some 1,000-yard-plus games here and there. That's the Jonathan Stewart, J. Stu, son. I could have uh, gotten a little better picture for him on the card. He looks a little, a little creepy there in the eyes. <laughs> Autograph number one in this box. And Obi Melifonwu, that is our third duplicate. It's the most duplicates we've seen for the Raiders. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the most autographs we've seen as well, though. Overall, and I think four boxes now, six autos. Cam Newton, MVP contender. Rookie of the Year contender, Jamal Adams. Two vets now. 
uh, Brian Hill and TJ Logan. And for the Ravens, rookie ticket, Brandon Williams. That one's for Gimpy Gill, Jeff, and the Ravens. Third autograph there. All the top letters on the table there. I was thinking about one one Super Bowl tickets the other day. Cowboys quad, Jason Taylor, legendary contender. We sure have pulled a bunch in the past from contenders. Be nice to see some more this year. Sean Watson. Chris Godwin, that dude right there is a beast for the Bucks. Home card rookie ticket. Bucks ended up going to DPZ 912, David. We have at least one more autograph. Still got a pretty hefty stack here. Humphrey and Cohen, round numbers. Legendary contender Randy Moss. TJ Watt, rookie deer contender. Josh McCallum, 20, let's see, excuse me, 206 and 249 playoff ticket for the Jets. Shane, what was your old breaker's name? MVP contender, Matt Stafford. Hey, how about a third vet? Second vet in the box. 78 of 99, Randall Cobb, NFL Inc. Jersey number inscribed. Pretty nice there for the Packers. Vet box. PG card 23. Seems like I've seen that one around too. I was curious. Jim Kelly, legendary contenders. Rookie of the Year contender, Jabril Peppers. MVP contender, Ezekiel Elliott. And we have a sixth autograph. That is draft class autograph, RPS, Wayne Gallman for the Giants. That is the first Gallman I think we've seen. Drew Brees, MVP contender. Not sure what that will be number two. Check out the checklist on that one. This is definitely going to be the most autographs we've seen in our case so far, for sure. One more box left. Oh, Lord. Don't forget, guys, we do have, so far, 150 points for random and a dual autograph. After that, I will do a full recap of all the autographs in the case. I know I normally stick around a little while after the break and hang out a bit. And I'm not feeling too great, so I'm going to bounce. We'll cut the video tonight. 
I'll keep that updated on the Facebook group. How many teams we have left? The store is always loaded up. Feel free once again if you're not a part of the Facebook group to join. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube. Um, unless you tell me otherwise, I'll add you new guys to the email list. There's always an unsubscribe button at the bottom. If you don't start seeing it starting Monday, you could possibly get your spam folder first. Pretty much the purpose of just telling you I'm going live. If you uh, hit the little heart below the video, subscribe to the channel, you should get an email from Vaughn telling you I'm live as well. If you haven't hit that, please do. Yada, 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 all that stuff. I'll keep the uh, break filling for today. Some guys that can't get on social media, text and let them know it's open. They want to grab teams. Been a pretty nice case. Let's see some booms here to go out with. Josh Malone, right on the top here. Rookie ticket. Now we've seen him earlier, but it was a different variation. That's the regular rookie ticket. He is not bad. He does play and does score touchdowns. Legendary contender Emmett Smith. <clears throat> Rookie of the Year contender, Patrick Mahomes. MVP contender, Antonio Brown. Akello Witherspoon. I don't know if we've seen that one yet. Yeah, the autograph seems familiar. I think we had one of the other two. Rookie ticket for the 49ers. Yeah, we have only seen one cracked ice this case. It was autographed. Nice to get another one here. Big Ben. Round numbers, Mixon and Cook. Rookie of the Year contender, Alvin Kamara. Championship ticket, 40 of 99, Trevor Simeon. The dude whose rookie tickets out of contenders a couple years ago were like five bucks, seven bucks. By the time he started over a hundred. Never know. MVP contender Tom Brady. Rookie of the year contender CJ Beathard. Kenny Galladay, Cooper Cup, and Chad Hansen, rookie ticket variation for the Jets. That is autograph number four. In box 12, we haven't seen an own card in this one yet. Yep, probably closer to that than it is 100 for sure. <laughs> I, would, I would guess Simeon's probably like 25 now from that 100. <laughs> Every time I see him, I think about that, though. I had a buddy that only is a contenders junkie that gets four to six teams every break. I haven't seen him in a couple of months. But um, had like 20 of them. Was very happy when they jumped up for 100. Kareem Hunt, Deontay Foreman. Every time I see Trevor Simeon, I think of that rookie ticket and of that guy selling them. Legendary contender, Megatron. Rookie of the year contender, Dalvin Cook. And it looks like possibly our last autograph is going to be on card rookie ticket, Amar Darbo for the Seahawks. Seahawks had a pretty nice break. Like four or five, at least for them. They got that one cornerback. This rookie ticket sells for like 40 bucks. I don't think we have him. In case, so. Still got a pretty big stack here. Let's see if they slip another one in. MVP contender, Carson Wentz. Dalvin Cook. 64 of 99, Rookie of the Year contender. Sean McCoy, 
MVP contender. Pretty sure we got another one coming here, y'all. Round numbers, Adam Shaheen and Gerald Everett. Possibly two more coming. So there's Josh Jones. I think there's another one back there. I think we're actually going to get seven autos, maybe. Unless I'm mistaken. It looks like we got a little flip around. Josh Jones, rookie ticket for the Packers. Patriots quad, legendary contender Mike Vick. McCaffrey rookie of the year contender. And TJ Watt. Look at that. Seven autographs. This is the first time we've seen seven this year. In a box. 10 of 99. Playoff ticket variation for the Steelers. I honestly think I might have the Steelers two deep. Still waiting to hit. There was some discussion with me and another breaker buddy that man, I'd be a little higher. Seven autographs. I'm going to count them out right quick. Just out of curiosity. We only have the one point. Here's our two randoms. We'll roll a die and use the same number for both randoms, unless y'all tell me otherwise. If y'all would rather do the dice roll on that one, let me know. We can do that instead if you want. Uh, 61. 61. I thought it'd be more than that. Including the duel. Sure, that being autos in the wrong stack here. Oh, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. I'm going to say that can't be right. 66 autos. That is uh, five more than the first case. I haven't counted that second case yet. 66 autos, including the duel. Thank you, Josh, buddy, man. It's good to see you, dude. Don't be such a stranger. Feel free to hit me up anytime. You got the number. I know you're not much on social media. Dice roll is fine with you. Yep, 66 plus the points. That's pretty good there. Um, who else was on this card besides Eddie Bears? Um, David. So dice roll cool with you on that one? We'll just do that one right quick and then do the points. If so, if not, it doesn't matter to me. We can do it either way. Yo, would you rather do the random like the points or do a dice roll one, two, three, four, five, six? I'm going to go ahead and do the random. This is kind of, somebody said I was using the Chinese random.org for the random. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll go ahead and use this Chinese random.org for the 150 points then. Anything but a two, always throwing up on the random since day one. No snake eyes. We're going seven times. This does look a little bit different. But one. See the list shows up down here. Two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final. 150 points is going to the Chiefs. <coughs> oh. And one, two, three will be Adam Shaheen. Four, five, six will be Gerald Everett. 
Good luck, y'all. It is a two, so that one is going to the Bears. I'll go ahead and do a quick recap here. So we have the 150 points. We did have the duel of Adam Shaheen for the Bears, Gerald Everett for the Rams, 11 on 25. That one just went to the Bears on the dice roll. Malachi Pre rookie ticket going to the Bills. Rookie ticket of Duke Riley for the Falcons. Rookie ticket of Razul Douglas for the Eagles. Championship ticket, 22 of 25. Hassan Reddick for the Cardinals. Cooper Cup, rookie roundup, 47 of 99 on card for the Rams. Draft class, 7 of only 17. Marlon Mack on card for the Colts. Very nice. On card playoff ticket, 8 of 99. Mack Collins for the Eagles. On card rookie ticket, R. Joshua Dobbs for the Steelers. 27 of 99 playoff ticket, Sam Rogers for the Rams. For the Colts, Malik Hooker rookie ticket. Variation rookie ticket, Taco Charlton for the Cowboys. Variation rookie ticket, Jordan Leggett for the Jets. Rookie ticket of Desmond King for the Chargers. 81 of 99. Tanner Vallejo, not 100% sure how to pronounce that last name there, guys. 91 of 99 playoff ticket for the Bills. Variation rookie ticket, Juju Smith Schulster on card. Matt Abrida, rookie ticket for the 49ers. Matt Collins, variation rookie ticket for the Eagles. Ryan Switzer, rookie ticket for the Cowboys. Adoree Jackson, rookie ticket going to the uh, Titans. Vince Beagle, it looks like, for rookie ticket for the Packers. Uh, Jamal Agnew, for the Lions. This is the one that has a little smeared ink and some weird impression on the back where it seems like it was pressed too hard in manufacturing. For the Lions, 36 of 49. Variation playoff ticket, Josh Malone for the Bengals. Kareem Hunt, rookie ticket, redemption for the Chiefs. Another rookie ticket variation, Taco Charlton. Jordan Willis, rookie ticket for the Bengals. Dietrich Wise Jr., rookie ticket for the Patriots. Aaron Jones, rookie ticket for the Packers. Tariq Cohen, rookie ticket for the Bears. Ross Cockrell, rookie ticket for the Giants. Brad Kaya, rookie ticket. That one's going to the Panthers. Rookie ticket, cracked ice variation, 7 of 25. Carlos Henderson. For the Broncos, Jamal Adams, rookie ticket for the Jets, Marlon Mack, rookie ticket for the Colts, on card, rookie ticket for the Seahawks, Chris Carson, TJ Watt, rookie ticket for the Steelers, that would be on card, OB Melifonwu, rookie ticket for the Raiders, Kendall Beckwith, rookie ticket for the Bucks, veteran ticket, Adam Vinatieri, jersey number inscribed for the Colts. Rookie ticket variation, Donta Foreman for the Texans. David Njoku, rookie ticket variation for the Browns. Playoff ticket, 19 of 99, Josh Harvey Clemens for the Redskins. Carl Lawson, rookie ticket for the Bengals. Anthony Walker Jr. for the Colts. Rookie ticket for the uh, Colts. Bernard Reedy for the Bucks, rookie ticket. Elijah Qualls, rookie ticket for the Eagles. Nazar Jones, rookie ticket for the Seahawks. Taewon Taylor, rookie playoff variation ticket. The Titans, playoff ticket. Home card, D.D. Westbrook, numbered 9 of 25, Jaguars. Nazir Jones, rookie ticket. The Seahawks. Quincy Wilson, rookie ticket for the Colts. Leonard Fournette, variation rookie ticket for the Jaguars. Josh Harvey Clemens, rookie ticket for the Redskins. Donald Pumphrey, rookie ticket for the Eagles. Jonathan Stewart, 97 of 99, NFL Inc. for the Panthers. Obi Melifonwu, rookie ticket 
for the Raiders. Ricky Ticket, Brandon Williams for the Ravens. Chris Godwin, own card Ricky Ticket for the Bucks. NFL Inc. jersey number inscribed, 78 of 99. Randall Cobb for the Packers. Wayne Gallman, draft class autograph. I'm not sure the number on that one. That'll be own card for the Giants. Josh Malone, Ricky Ticket for the Bengals. Akello Witherspoon, Ricky Ticket for the 49ers. Ricky Ticket variation. Chad Hansen for the Jets. Amar Darbo, Ricky Ticket on card for the Seahawks. Josh Jones, Ricky Ticket for the Packers. And TJ Watt, 10 of 99 variation playoff ticket for the Steelers. For well, the guys still in the chat, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Oslander's break, son. Be gone.